Look at that. Isn't that nice? Um, this goes out to uh, ADD Meets Insomnia, if I have that name right. My ability to get things wrong it never ceases to amaze me. And wow others. Um, so you, uh, you tagged me to do a, a, a labels video. And uh, it's kind of interesting because I, uh, I kind of listen to you and I listen to Zombie Picture Show. And uh, I've gone uh, uh, camping with a couple of uh, Mensa members. Uh, people with these really these minds that work really good on categories and uh, My mind just doesn't work like that. I remember like we were gonna have a sandwich and uh, while we're camping with all these uh, these brainiacs and uh, Someone said uh, some as someone pulled out the bread to make sandwiches. Uh, they said 12 gr 12 grain bread and Then someone else was also pulling out bread out of their uh, cooler and they said 24 grain bread and then she just, I just could watch everybody get excited. And they're like, how many grains can you name? <laughs> and I'm like, like, I don't know. I've never had to name grains, and I don't know that I can name grains. There's some grains. Wheat. <laughs> Sunflower seeds. Uh, well, anyway, so labels, I don't, I can't really do that label thing. I'd have to look up labels. Yeah, I mean, you, you both guys gave examples, um, I'm not really political, um, you know, I'm like, I would consider myself uh, um, North American, I guess, but, uh, you know, more along the lines of uh, Stumptown. I've lived uh, in Portland all my life, and I think there's a certain kind of uh, person and vibe, and uh, it's like living on the ocean. I think living on the ocean does something to you, and I think living in Portland does something to you, too. Something good. And then when I started thinking about like what kind of like personality types or ways I express myself, uh, and do that does that fall under labels? Room. Um, one contradicts the other. I mean, uh, I mean, I could find a few of them. Like you know, I'm like a, I'm, a, I'm an omnivore. Um, with uh, I'm a protesting omnivore. Like, I'm really peaceful and calm, but I don't know anybody else that's been in more fights than I have. <laughs> Once I got out of fighting, uh, this guy was trying to start a fight with me, and I'm like, you know what? I'd, I'd just assume we stepped outside um, and fought. And the guy's like, oh yeah, you think you could beat me up? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't care. Um, but um, I was in a bar knitting. And I'm like, but I'm eager to finish knitting my hat. And if we go out, if, if, if fighting you is what's going to take, is what's is what it's going to take to get back to my knitting, then I'll fight you. And uh, if I beat you up, you got your uh, ass kicked by uh, somebody that was knitting. And if you beat me up, you just beat up a knitter. So either way, <laughs> either way, I think you lose. <laughs> oh, I'm not really religious. I really uh, I appreciate a lot about. Uh, I might consider myself a Buddhist. Um, but not really. I'm a lover of nature, that's for sure. I, uh, I think I, I describe my personality, I, I feel like I'm some sort of like uh, extroverted introvert, kind of a uh, uh, misanthropic hermit that is really easy to get along with and you're totally welcome to go to my hermitage and camp. Probably just not going to want to talk a whole lot. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Because you know me on YouTube, and uh, when all I'm doing, for the most part, is just running my mouth. Um, but it feel, actually, it feels good to say some things, and sometimes once I've said them, and I know that sometimes I could be trite, um, but sometimes once I've said something, I'm so happy to be done. I've said it. I'm done. I don't have to talk about it anymore. I'm just done. I don't know. You could hear that. It's the uh, it's the wheat field. It's rustling. That's why I like quiet, because you can't you can't improve upon that noise.
See you in the tubes, ADD.